Fishermen are the most neglected, marginalized community in the whole of India, sir. And I say this particularly coming from a coastal constituency. We have a situation where foreign vessels are coming into our exclusive economic zone. They are fishing with impunity. They are taking away the fish resources of our country. And our fishermen are the ones being punished by our government's rules, where you find that if they fish within the zone within 200 nautical miles, they're charged two lakhs uh, if they're caught, for example, during fishing during the monsoon season. If they, have, uh, if they have juvenile fish in their cats, they're punished further. The government says the same fines are levied on foreign operators, but there is no evidence of their ever having fined a foreign operator, even though we know there are so many foreign ships in these waters. So the problem is that there is a real challenge in the way in which the government executes its policies, and the neglect of the fishing community is a serious issue affecting all coastal states. States. In the manifesto of the BJP, and I have to say with all honesty, for two successive elections, my opponent campaigned on the idea of running, of creating a Ministry of Fisheries. This government has not done that. They have created a Department of Fisheries. There is no one at the ministerial level with any responsibility for fishing, sir. And this is why these injustices are allowed to continue. At the very least, can the government think of creating a fisheries commission that would meet the demands and mitigate the concerns of our long-suffering fisher, fisher folk? Thank you. I have respect for the member for his deep concern, and especially the fishermen of Kerala, who have been instrumental in informing the government that uh, the existence of foreign vessels in the Arabian Sea. Sir, uh, in that particular instance, uh, 10 fishing vessels were found uh, within the EJ of India in the Maharashtra coast. But uh, Government of India requested various uh, investigating agencies including IV and uh, the Co Indian Coast Guard and the Government of Maharashtra and other agencies. They made a joint inquiry and inquiry revealed that there was no fish inside the vessels and they were not engaged in fishing within the territory of our economic exclusive economic zone but uh, one vehicle was one vessel was fined up to rupees 1150 by a judicial magistrate because they used satellite phone which is prohibited under law sir uh, uh, the existing the uh, uh, trespassers in the exclusive economic zone if they are found guilty are presently punished by the MJ Act, which is meant for uh, illegal fishing by foreign vessels. But uh, the territorial waters up to from the waistline up to 12 nautical miles is governed by the, every state and every state have their own separate laws. They are at liberty to enact laws. Sir, uh, from 12 nautical miles up to 200 nautical miles comes under EJ and that is under the jurisdiction of the government of India. Sir, the government is contemplating to have a, have a uniform law only for the economic, exclusive economic zone. So far as territorial zone is concerned, that is the jurisdiction of state governments and they make their own laws. Uh, as far as the present MJI Act, the government of the uh, uh, Trespassing vessels are fined up to rupees 10 lakh. There is a provision of fight, uh, penalty of rupees 10 lakh uh, in the exclusive economic zone and up to rupees 15 lakh in the territorial waters. Sir, fines are being imposed if some vessel are found guilty. But in these particular cases, these vessels are uh, reported by the investigating agency to have come under our sea and to take shelter in the harbor due to the cyclone known as Vayu Chakra. Sir, uh, um, joint inquiry report clearly <coughs> testifies that there was no fish and they were not engaged in fishing uh, activities. Sir, this is not 
Sorry to say, a totally satisfactory response, sir. The fact is, we're not talking so much about the territorial waters, that's 12 nautical miles. We're talking about the exclusive economic zone of 200 nautical miles. And there, sir, you are now requiring in your draft bill to actually charge our Indian vessels for a permit to fish in our own economic zone, whereas foreign vessels, of course, you know, you can't charge them any permit, they're coming from abroad. So this bill, sir, is also misconceived. The more important question is, our fisher people are below the poverty line, sir. 61% of India's fishermen families are in the BPL category, sir. And in these circumstances, how can you charge, for example, a license fee of 50,000 rupees, which is what they're charging now, on the assumption there are big vessels and rich owners? The truth is, the vast majority of fishermen vessels are small scale craft 50,000 rupees will break the bank for them and the problem is that your your draft bill which has not gone to a committee as far as I'm aware does not even address this particular problem sir I do want to say to the honorable minister you should reconsider this requirement of a mandatory permit for Indian fishermen which puts them at a disadvantage vis-a-vis -vis foreign fishermen and you should ensure that the exclusive economic zone is a territory for our fishermen to survive these are people who are living in poverty, sir. Please have a heart for them. And please, you have not answered my first question. Uh, if you cannot create a fisheries ministry, how about at least a fisheries commission? Somebody must be dedicated to understanding and dealing with the problems of our fisher people. Your government, sir, is not. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Speaker. Sir, government of India is making no discrimination between foreign and Indian vessels. Sir, foreign vessels are completely prohibited now. and. Uh, Government of India, before making a legislation, it will consider all the members, all the states have been considered, all the stakeholders have been considered. And uh, I think under the able leadership, so able a champion like Narendra Modi, our honorable Prime Minister, nobody will be discriminated. <laughs> and uh, especially the fisherman is our uh, prime concern. And uh, the new Ministry of Fisheries and Human Husbandry has been created by this present government under the leadership of Narendra Modi ji to focus on the training, the income generating policy and everything else for the welfare of the poor fishermen. They are well protected. Foreign vehicles, foreign vessels are prevented to protect our own fishermen, to protect our fish resources and various training are being imparted. <laughs> forum for coastal MPs so we can let this government know about the problems yeah, of our fishing yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, please, it's in your hands, sir. Sir, sir, ne kare ki to aap sir ki if, if a vessel is found guilty, nobody can protect the vehicle, be it foreign or Indian. No foreign vessel is being discriminated. They are fined. There is a provision of fining them up to rupees 10 lakh in the ec exclusive economic zone if the vessel is found guilty. But only penalty can be imposed only after it is proved, only after it is established after inquestation. Before proving something, we cannot impose penalty.